Okay, 5.5b, last one. Just learned how to do a loft, and I showed you an extra loft in that video. And that's the type of loft we'll use to create the female Automobile Blocks character. So, new part file. You just click here if you'd like for new part file. Start a new sketch. I'm going to use the Y or the XZ plane to build up from. First thing we need is a polygon, so go to the rectangle tool, go down to the polygon. Not sure if it matters if you used inscribed or circumscribed, but we need circumscribed, need three sides. Start at the origin. We make the right side vertical, if I can. Click escape or OK. Now the dimension we are given is actually the width here, so click on the end point here, and then the side here, and this is 0.556. If you used your own, if you measured this yourself, you may want to, um, use your own measurements. Okay, all the sides should be equal just by default. Finish sketch. Let's extrude this. 0.295. That's what I measured. Now let's start a 2D sketch on this surface. You can right click on the surface, new sketch. We need an ellipse, so go to the circle tool, go down to ellipse, start at the center, come straight out horizontally and uh, click, and come up a little bit and click. Escape. To dimension the ellipse, just click on it and then either move this way or this way. 0.125. And this way is 0.105. Finish sketch. Now, if you look at your Automobile Blocks character, this little leg base here does get a little wider as you go up, so we will need an offset plane with a slightly larger ellipse, and then we will loft between the two. So, go up to plane, offset from plane, click on the top surface, and then I measure this to be 0.195 approximately. New sketch on this surface. Now the instructions say to project geometry, but I'm not sure you need to. I think we can still find the center point just because we used the origin maybe. Not sure. So click, make it green. Come out here, make it larger in both directions. It's not going to be that large, but now let's dimension that. This dimension here is slightly larger, 0.140. And then the height of it is slightly larger, again, 0 0.110. We have a slightly salt, slightly larger ellipse. Finish sketch. Now we use the loft feature. We click on our two surfaces here, two ellipses. You see the preview, you said okay. And there you have that. Okay, now we're going to do a couple more lofts from this drawn ellipse, a wide ellipse here down to her waist and then back up to her shoulders. With these measurements. So, on this new work plane, we can just start a new sketch. Didn't find it. Another ellipse. Don't need to project geometry for some reason. Just gonna draw it, try to avoid any kind of ant trails. This dimension here is the whole height is 0.4, so we need 0.2. And then this way is 0.6, so we need 0.3. 
finish sketch. Now we need another offset work plane. It says that her waist is 0.36 inches higher. So we need to draw a new sketch on that work plane. Another ellipse from the center point. Come straight across. Go up somewhere. And then her waist is 0.31 total. So if you don't want to do math, just type 0.31 divided by 2. And then this is 0.39 divided by 2. Finish sketch. Just loft up to her waist. Doesn't matter which order you click these in. See the preview? And there we have up to her waist. Now we need another offset plane from this plane. And this says it's 0.34. Now if you decide, realize later that you misread something, you mismeasured something, and you want to come back in here and change where this plane is, even after you've done other stuff, you can just double click on it and change the number. So we need another 2D sketch on this plane. Another ellipse. I'm just going to come way out just to be safe. She's got some giant shoulders on her. So let's dimension this here. This is 0.76 divided by 2. And these are the measurements that they give us. If you have your own, use your own. This is 0.54. Just visually check if you have her in front of you. You can visually check to make sure that her shoulder measurements make sense. Must have projected that geometry somehow. Let's do a loft. Okay, give me a second. Okay, I just undid I don't know where that extra ellipse came from, but I just undid everything and then redrew this ellipse just like before, which is probably what you got. You probably didn't have the weird problem that I had. So now that we have our shoulder ellipse, we can go in and use the law feature. Extra ellipse didn't allow us to. And then we have her shoulders. Now, the instructions don't say to do so, but if you remember on the male automoblox feature, their shoulders are curved, so we drew this type of sketch. So we're going to do the same thing here, just to make it look a little better. We can always go back and change the measurements if we want. Now if you look at your automobile box character, male and female, they both have curves in both directions, not just across the shoulders, but from front to back as well, but let's not worry about that. So first thing I'm going to do is make these work planes invisible. Right click on them and click on visibility. You can also do this over in the browser. So let's do side to side. So it doesn't really matter which way we do. So let's do it on the back so we can use this flat surface here. So let's do a new sketch on this surface here. Now another thing we could do is to show this XY plane and use that, but it really doesn't matter. So, and we'll project geometry if we need to. So let's draw the same thing we did there. Find the green dots if you can. Come up here somewhere. Probably a little low. Now to center this, we need something going down the center. Let's try this. Honestly, don't know if that'll work. Another thing we can do is to show 
is the y-axis. Let's make this 1.2. Twenty seventeen seems to allow us to click on stuff without having to project geometry. So that just centers this line across there. And remember this just encompasses the whole thing. So when we do our intersect extrusion, it doesn't cut off any of that. You could actually go all the way all the way around here if you wanted to. So now we need our ellipse. Now I'm doing this perhaps out of order. So you want an arc, not an ellipse. So you may want to stop now and wait till I get done. So we are getting a green dot there. So if you watch what happens when I do this particular extrusion, see this went a little too high, so that green dot, not sure it was going to. But if we do this extrusion, might cut off a little too much of her shoulder. So I'm gonna I'm just gonna leave that, but I'm gonna go back into my sketch. I guess we didn't cut too much off. It's it's just really whatever angle you think it should be cut off. This is actually front to back, so it's actually probably didn't cut off enough if you look at your we should also draw this another one from this side and round her shoulders this way but let's not. Now remember the next thing to do is to draw a sketch just go home here maybe on the YZ plane you could make it visible start a 2D sketch on that and you can draw half her head That's her hair. I'm just messing around now. See how creative you can get with drawing her head. Drawing her actual head, if you look at the actual thing, is more complicated than they have us do. But after you draw that, use Revolve. It's already got our profile selected because the only profile we have. It's already down to axis. A full revolve, and that's her head. I think it's just about right. And there we have it. File save as. Five point five B. Female. Whatever you want to call it. I don't remember what we called it last time. Automobile blocks female initials.